Hi guys, Omar with Overlanding Just Cause, and in this video, I want to do a walk around of my camper trailer, uh, Overland trailer that I've built. Uh, I didn't actually build it. It was uh, Outbound uh, Trailers, Outbound.com, if you want to take a look at their website. They make pretty good trailers. I haven't had an issue with this. So this is a five five right here by eight long and it's supposed to be a sleeper but what my purpose is when i bought it was it's going to be our base camp because i have such a big family i obviously we couldn't all sleep in this trailer this is our base camp this is what we live out of the overland rig whether it's the gx or the commander is our our true parlor that's all it does it carries all the humans and animals but this is really what what matters when we're out and about doing stuff so let's start at the very front like i said it's five by eight and again we have all our gear in here let's talk about some things that i've done since the beginning um well for starters the netting it didn't come I added this when I initially installed this netting I, and I placed I don't know like one feather on it it like drooped all the way down so what I ended up doing was placing these bungee cords here and now um, when I place stuff in there and like I said it's very light stuff jackets and maybe a blanket or two or pillow whatever it hangs down low enough the bungees kind of hold it together this kind of keeps it in place so everything is there Another thing I have added was this shelf that you see here. This was all open space and it's, you know, it's again meant for a sleeper so you can kind of sit up and uh, you can have a little couch in here. I mean, they sell the whole nine, but I didn't want it as a sleeper. So I enjoyed this, all this space here, but everything from like here up was all extra that i was not using so i decided to put these l brackets i put one here there you see three four and then five and then put this three uh three quarter inch plywood here and it helps holds up well now this up here the shelf holds uh, sleeping bags it holds chairs it holds a table um, oh and it also holds our tent so those four things and then you might notice I have a strap here because in case it does get heavy in the middle I have a strap that is bolted up to this beam up here you see where my fingers pointing and so it, it kind of holds everything up now as far as what I have in here I have two bins you see one here at the bottom one here at the top this one down here has a firewood it has the platform for my shower which i will show you on the other side over there this one has pillows blankets sheets uh, and two air mattresses now i'm not showing it here but I have a huge water tank here's the line it's from pretty much here all the way down to the floorboard and it's a 26 gallon water tank connected to that 26 gallon water tank i have the nozzle here that goes to the water uh, pump and then i also have a heater this is run by propane and I have a five gallon propane tank, which I will show you in a minute. But if I ever needed hot water, hook it up to the propane tank, hook it up. And I've got all the quick releases here to do the adjustments. I figured all that out, which was a pain. For the most part, if we don't need the hot water, it runs straight from the big 26 gallon tank to the water pump and it comes out of this hose. Now this 26 gallon water tank that I have, it is potable. I use a filter, I use a potable water hose so we can drink from it. But because I decided to go just solo and I'm with Jay, uh, I didn't need all that. Also in here, 
I have my diesel heater. This I will use tonight. I haven't set it out yet. I also have my battery bank here, EcoFlow. And this thing right now is charging, actually is charging nothing. So let's unplug it. Let's turn it off. I've got dog food that I put in a one gallon bag. Here's my five gallon propane tank that I talked about. Now these two uh, organizers I got off Amazon and they're like vehicle trunk organizers just to organize your stuff. They come with, I don't know if you can see right here where my thumb is, a divider that goes all the way across. They're super cheap. I'll leave it in the description below. Super cheap on Amazon, but I've got propane tank. I've got aluminum foil, one gallon bags. I've got peak performance. I've got, uh, what else is on there? Oh, more one gallon Ziploc bags. I just bought more. Oh my gosh. And more aluminum foil. Usually my wife like steals it when she runs out in the house. Uh, runs out of it so she'll come and grab these and i thought they were empty so maybe i'll just put these in the house and... all right so good to know i bought it yesterday it was kind of all last minute like i said oh and i've got tupperware just in case we have leftovers and i don't want stuff spilling all over the place i'll show you the other side when i get to it so I have this wok here. This has been great. This wok is propane fed. And so I have this dual. If I just want to use the uh, wok, I can easily just, you know, hook it up to the propane tank. If I want to use the wok and the grill, then I have this dual setup right here. All right. So in the back, when I first got the trailer, this was about an inch lower to the floorboard, which you can see is the brown right here where my finger is. So I had to get three quarter inch plywood, do a little bit of uh, caulking right here to fill in the gap, bolted it down through the original OEM holes that came up for the floorboard. Just measured it and made sure that it came out through the plywood that I added. So that's in place, but I had to make sure it's low profile because I have this fridge slide on here. The fridge slide is from Clearview. It's called the Clearview Easy Slide. And this thing is awesome. So once you pull it out using these tabs, hit this tab right here where my finger is, and it can drop down. The only reason at this point that I needed to drop down is for my eight year old to get into. This Pelican case is the actual Coleman grill. It's got the grill grill where I put wood on it to set a fire, um, all that good stuff. Now, this was a shelf. I called the lady up at Outbound Trailer, told her I wanted a fridge to slide through because I was not using it as a sleeper. She raised it up. She was able to get the guys to raise it up, which kudos to the company for working with me there and now i'll show you when i bring uh, this the fridge in it slides right in perfectly i mean there's probably like centimeters but yeah they did a really good job i gave them the dimensions of what i wanted and what needed to fit and at first they were like, oh, this is how it comes. You know, when you buy the big door, there's a shelf that has to come in to kind of keep everything steady and framed and squared. Well, I was like, well, I can't have it down here because it's not gonna serve the purpose that I want. So uh, for, for me, with my request, they brought it up and I was definitely grateful for that. And since then, I've added this shelf and I've added all of these Tupperwares that have, and I'm sure you guys have seen this in my other videos, utensils and shit, spices, oils and shit. I've got, you know, matches, lighters and shit, poop bags, well, little shit, candles, wipes and shit. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff here and, and, and shit that just goes into these and it gets to the point where we go camping you know as a family and wife is like ah we need this and i'm like 
where's that shit gonna go? So we kind of find a, a spot for it. Really, if it's crap, we can put it anywhere. That's the setup here. Again, I added this shelf here only because from this shelf all the way up, there was so much space. I mean, if I lift this, you can see I could probably add another shelf that all I would have to do was take one out and sit this on top. But this was enough storage for us. Paper towel holder, super simple and easy. Oh, let's go back here. I've got the OVS LT awning, uh, so freestanding, great, but it's the smaller version of their bigger ones uh, that doesn't stick out as much. On the other side, I've got the zero declination shower awning, changing room, poop room, whatever you want to use it for. It's been great for us. What I've done with this, and I have a video on this, is you've probably seen other trailers, off-road trailers, where it comes out, it you know rotates out, and then it drops down. Well, I ended up doing the same thing with this. I just bought two brackets from Amazon. You can see probably not the best quality brackets because they're rusting right now, but I can release this and this will rotate out. It will lock into place and then I can unzip and it drops down and here's my shower. And once my shower is set, I can open this door. I'll bring the hose from in there and here if I had the 26 water gallon, uh, water gallon tank there and I can shower and um, let me show you this organizer right here. So first of all, I have the poop, uh, the pooper pillows, uh, excuse me, it's not pillows. I've got towels. So when I shower on this side, I've got a hammock for the kids. Oh, and I've got a five gallon collapsible water tank that is for washing dishes. So that's my setup here on this side. Almost forgot. I've got the steps for the dogs. Haven't really used this much, but I'm sure the older they get, this will come in handy. I got it for them because I thought that the vehicles were too high, but they seem to be jumping up just fine. The biggest thing and like the most important part about this setup is the power that comes here. Now I have a lithium battery here and this is the case for the lithium battery which has a, a 12 volt outlet right here. This is for the fridge that's pulled out right there. This is being charged by a DC to DC charger right here from Renergy. And uh, you'll find this on Amazon, but DC to DC charger is awesome. I have power coming from the GX, from the battery of the GX. It's powered, got wires running all the way through. I have a video on how I wired it all the way through. And then I have wires coming from the battery here. They go connect here at the quick disconnect. When I turn the GX on, it transfer power over and it goes through a DC to DC charger, which is right here again and it charges this as I'm driving. Once I stop, the charge stops. It doesn't trickle, it doesn't take any power from the GX. And I'm able to have power from this battery alone. So this battery will charge my refrigerator. It can charge my heater that's on the other side that you saw earlier. This bag right here is the vent for that heater. This little hook right here is for the water hose. When I'm showering, I can hook it here. <sighs> Man, that was a lot of talking. All right, so that's our setup. And this setup is always changing. It's never perfect. And that's, that's the fun part. I kind of had a vision for this trailer and uh, when I first started looking for a trailer, like initially when I built the Commander to be my overland rig, I had everything set up in the back. 
But then my wife said, hey, you know, where, where are the kids going to fit? Where are the dogs going to go? And I realized, like, I need the vehicle to be the true parlor. Like, I need it to carry us. So all the extra stuff, that's when we started looking into this. Now, you'll find overland trailers, camper trailers, whatever. They can go up into the 60, you know, 50, 60 thousand dollars. And they're super cool. Well, I wanted something very basic because obviously I am not made out of money. So Outbound Trailer has a very good setup, you know, 35 inch tires. It's set up to go off road. It's got the lock and roll uh, hitch here. I mean, you add these little add ons here, but even the little add ons like the back door and the hitch, the, the, the other door, those all are add ons, but it doesn't even come close to the other brands you know again i you know i made this those other brands it already comes like this and yeah sure it probably won't rust but this is what i made and uh well this is what i built off but the trailer has been awesome and uh even on this little two out of five trail this thing held up and it's it's always um, intact and it's always moving well i haven't had any issues with it i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you have any questions about the outbound trailer or any gear that i've used or have in my base camp please feel free to ask um, i hope you enjoyed the video and uh, i'll see you guys on the next one take care